I decided to plan makeup. It's not a tutorial. If you are interested, keep watching. Hey guys, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Morph palette. I just want to play in some makeup. It's not really a tutorial. I just want to vibe out, listen to some music, paint, do my hair, take some pictures, and yeah, enjoy. So I went in with this purple hair guys, <laughs> yes just as a buffer, it's very close to the first color that I used but it's close to the pink as well. So I chose this as a buffer. You can use two colors in your crease, three, four, five, all depends as long as they are all color compatible. But you see if I would have went in with that dark and then that light purple, it really wouldn't have worked in my head so I needed that light medium purple as a buffer and i'm just gonna blend in hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said this is not a tutorial on definitely in some color so yeah so yeah this day <laughs> This day, my cut crease, hopefully I don't sound too crazy, I'm just waking up, but this day, the cut crease was giving me a headache. Now, the look turned out beautiful, everybody loved it on Instagram, I'm going to put pictures in at the end, but Lord have mercy. My cut was just not working this day, like I mixed the P. Louise blank canvas with the P. Louise um number two base yes and i'm just gonna go in with my color i love this look i'm going to re i keep saying it i'm gonna revisit these colors green and pink is so pretty in my eyes but i'm gonna let you watch the video So I decided to deepen up my outer view with that first purple that I used and that was a good choice. Okay, so off camera I did this liner with the blank canvas times Mitchell Acid Rain in Glow Girl. So I just did a slight wing. So I'm going to do that on this side and then we're going to conceal and keep it moving. I like it, it's different. So I had to go back in with that orange and some more of that yellow. Don't be afraid to go in and retouch those colors. I'm going to start to go into my face. So we're going to make sure that wing is winging, baby. And I'm going to be back. Put some of the remaining base on the bottom of my eye and I'm going to do this more often do my under eye color before my foundation this is a makeup shack brush oh my god a recent purchase love this brush I'm so happy that I got it because it's so precise and big so wherever I added color under my eyes baby 
it ain't even messed the color up. Y'all see that? But yeah, I'm going to use this to put on my foundation. You already know Lancome Tinted Doll. Or I use the mm, NARS. Or I use Huda Beauty. But this day, I used my Lancome Tinted Doll. And my Revolution Foundation Stick in F18. And this is Too Faced Shape. What is it? Shape and Sculpt. This is in the color Warm Sand. And I'm just going to do my foundation. You already know my Taylor May Jane method. And I'm going to let you see in real time how long it takes me for... How long it takes me for... How long it takes me to do my foundation routine. It doesn't take long. But I just got to make sure everything is sculpted. So yeah, enjoy this part. And I may pop back in. Yes, I will pop back in. Because I got to tell you guys what I use on my lips. So you already know I've been obsessed this is a peaches and cream makeup brush love them so much but I'm going to be using Phenom the Glamazon bronzers from Morph. I'm obsessed with these bronzers they're so good and I think I highlighted with I'm not too sure I'm not gonna lie with you but I'm gonna be using my NC50 studio fix powder and NC45 and 50 and I'm putting some glue on my hand. I'm going to pat it in. This is a Kiki Adams glitter from her prom set. The glitters in the sets don't have any names. So I'm just going to use a yellow and an orange glitter. And it was so pretty. I had to zoom it in. This is on a roll. I had to go back on my Instagram um, post and see because I did tag everything I used this day. On a roll, baby, for the win from the crown case. If you watch any of my past videos, makeup tutorials, you know I'm obsessed with bottom lashes. So I have to include this part. It's not hard. I just cut up a pair of old, beat up, regular size lashes. You can't use 25 millimeters for this because it's going to be way too long. It'll look like caterpillars on your ass, girl. But um, yeah, just you cut up an old pair of regular size lashes and just, you know, cut them up and, and use them for your bottom lashes. I think that's it's so amazing. Somebody on Instagram did it and I got inspired and I've been obsessed ever since. Thank you, girl. Okay, we back with some old crayon case. This is Gumbo. I'm going to use it as my lip liner. I've been using their liquid lipsticks and I'm getting used to them. I, it was so hard for me to blend them earlier on when I first started. For some reason, the formula is different. It dries really, really fast, basically, real fast, girl, real, real fast. So you cannot play with these liquid lipsticks. You can't be like, okay, I'm going to go get something. No, girl, it's, it's, it's dry. It's, it's done. But I'm going to go in with Marie, 
and I'm gonna mix that it's so pretty Marie and then I used private party no I use clean kisses there you go I use clean kisses this is still Marie we're gonna be keep blending girl blend 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 look at that look at that face that face is snatched now I'm using clean kisses like I said come on face Spray that face with some Fix Plus. Come on, face. So, I am done with the makeup. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Until my next one, I'll see you guys later.